So what we're going to do today is uh, tune the top plate of Opus 15 violin. And uh, we're going to use the Vigdorchik strip tuning method. And you'll see these uh, templates available on the Useful Tools page. And you just need to photocopy them and make it so it's 14 inches top to bottom. And then uh, you just cut out these holes and basically put it in place. And if you, uh, what I've done is just where the uh, just push it down in place and then draw a pencil line in line with the line on the pattern here. And then take that off and using a flexible ruler put it on my marking lines and draw these lines and uh, afterwards you just take a pencil eraser and erase these lines and basically the idea with Vigdorchik <clears throat> and uh, in his book I uh, wrote on the tuning systems of the Cremona Masters he discovered that <clears throat> the tone on each of these strips uh, needs to be the same uh, all the way across and the part that attaches to the center bout would be from here to there where this little red circle is and where the dotted line is this will raise the frequency of all these strips and from where the red circle is here the da dashed line all the way to here that because it's attached to the center bout will raise the frequency of all these strips and then the opposite's true if you want to lower it you'd go from here to the, da the dotted line <clears throat> if you want to lower any of these you'd go from the dotted line uh, to here and this part is tuned up here and down there you don't actually tune this part and again up on this side lower on that side so what we're going to do I've already done these two strips and if you compare it to our frequency going low, going high. So it brackets, going low, going high. So these are even all the way across. So the basic concept, what we're going to do, and let's see if I can show you this real quick. There's a problem with this plate because it's been um, graduated. I think you can see it. So that it's um, too thin out here in the middle. I normally would make it 2.6 millimeters thickness all over but this one this part's been thinned and this might be a case with the violin you're working on too that um, the tone is not even all the way across so what we're going to do is find the low spot of the strip okay so it's right here that's the low spot so we're going to find what that is that's what we want it to be That's lower. That's a little higher. Higher. Lower. It's okay. It's about here. So we're just going to use that for the reference. Get an idea what the pattern is. Now take a scraper. So the pattern is lowest here, highest here. So we're going to start, and that's going to take up not going to take a lot of material, but we'll just start scraping in the areas that are the highest first now notice I'm working on a pad here to kind of support the plate so I'm skipping this part but I'm touching the top part discover which way the grain goes. And let's check. Right in here is still high. Listen again.
Okay, it's a bit high here, not a little bit high there. So there's one edge here that's got a bit of a curve on it. So I'll dig in the least. So we're just interested in everything in between the two lines. And all we're trying to do now is make them even. So everything's going to be too low, but it's going to be too low evenly. Okay, so we want to raise the strip, which is right about here at. Um, 161. So we're going to raise it from here to up there. And but because we want to raise it from this line to the, where the circle is, remember this is the one, this, the dotted line, this is the transition line. On this side it lowers, on this side it raises. So, okay, so this is the strip we're working on. And we're going to go from about here out about three quarters of an inch. And we're just going to evenly scrape this. And So I went from here to here already, and uh, because we're moving in kind of just a rough way, we're still going to use a scraper. We're going to use the sandpaper for the finer, finer adjustment. We'll start here pretty soon. Now, there might be right here is a bit of a, an up ramp right now, but when we do that strip, that'll probably be taken care of. So it's still even all the way across. That's lower. Getting close. Okay, we're about 175. We want it to be 176. So we'll take our uh, foam sanding block. And this is 150 uh, sanding paper. And again, we're working on this third one. So we're just working on this outer three-quarter inch here. You see we're not really taking off much material. So I went a little bit low. A bit low. And high. So it's in between, which is our 176. So now these three strips are even all the way across. Okay, let's do the number four strip. I'll just put a little X on it here so you can see where we're at. So do the same thing. Just listen to the... Okay, this is the high end. This is the lowest, and then that's second high. Okay, again, we'll take the part that has a rounded... And we'll deal just with... Uh, There's one strip. And because there's a bit of a curve here where the wood makes a little ledge, I'm going to go ahead in a minute. No, I guess I can do it now. And see if I can't find the appropriate uh, chisel. Okay, let's take a little bit of paraffin wax here. Give a little coating on the cutting edges. All right. If I don't do it now, we'll have to do it later. So.
just kind of make a little rocking motion with your tool here to help cut. Alright, bring our little sandpaper through here. Okay, so we're working on this four strip, one, two, three, four. Um, so, the answer you get a better scraper. Strip. I'm kind of scrape in the direction of the low spots. So all the scrapes start here, and the next scrape goes farther. <clears throat> so I should be getting kind of a taper effect. Right in here, it's a little bit high still. Let's go the other direction from the low. Right in here, there's a bit of a high spot. This area a bit high, straight side of it. Okay. Right along the line here, it's a bit. Right here in this corner is still a bit high. Let me try to support it better. The grain's kind of fighting me a little bit. All right, let's get back to our sandpaper. And again, the sandpaper, it's a, oh, sorry, the motion that's going to do the cutting, not, not the pressure. So. All right, see where we're at. So this is the fourth um, strip. One, two, three, four. I'll just put a little note on here so it's easier to see where we're at. One, two, three, four. Okay. See where that one's at. That's lower. That's higher. So we're right about 170. So we're going to use our sandpaper. We're going to do this about a three quarter inch here. Try to, we could scrape that, but we're getting pretty tight. So we're just going to use a little sandpaper here. So we're just going to take this area. Try to, Raise that evenly. We want to avoid going up in the air we've already tuned. So that will affect it. The next. Now, the reason we've already got what we want. Okay. Sounds lower. Sounds about where we're at. It's a little bit higher, so it's going to go up slightly more. So if we do have to go over a line, we're going to go over the line in the area we haven't done yet. Okay, upper. Above 176, below 176. Okay, so now, 
So with all these four now, floor, above. So now all these four are at a goal frequency. I'm just going to redraw this line here. And if uh, you needed to, you could uh, put your mask back on and draw it in that way. Okay. Okay, so that's uh, tuning. We've tuned two strips. I did one and two off camera. Uh, and, and then we're, we just did three and four, and we're going to just take a break, uh, download the camera, and then come back and just go all the way across here until the whole plate is at, uh, like these, you'll see these center strips. This area here in the middle here is relatively high, so. Okay, so that's the Dorchik method. Uh, plate adjustment using the Dorchik strips. Good.